Students and alumni of color are posting about their experiences with racism at four elite private schools in the Jacksonville area. They're sharing their stories under Instagram accounts labeled Black at Bowles, Black at Bishop Kenny, and Black at Episcopal. The Florida Times Union was the first to report on the anonymous posts. News 4 Jack's I-Team reporter Kelly Wiley spoke with the principal of Bishop Kenny High who says he's disheartened, but he's listening. Kelly? The pages started popping up on Instagram last week. Anonymous Instagram accounts calling out racism at three elite Jacksonville area private schools. Most posters signing off only with their class year. Moderators for the account Black at Bowls say they have received more than 250 responses from black students, alumni, faculty, and other students of color who say they were victims of racism while attending the school. The posts are anonymous, so News for Jax can't independently verify the comments or who is behind the post. Moderators say it's the only way people feel comfortable sharing their story. Today, the Black at Bulls page posted this video showing a former student using the N-word. Staff at Bulls confirmed to News for Jax the student attended Bulls for one year and they had not seen the video until now. One freshman student on the Black at Bishop Kenny account anonymously posted, I've heard people in my grade constantly using the N-word and making fun of me for being friends with mostly black people. A submission from a junior at the school was also posted saying, I find this very hypocritical and to be completely useless for this isn't going to do anything but divide people. A junior at Episcopal posted anonymously that two boys in my science class started an argument with me that consisted of them claiming how black men, people, weren't intelligent. The principal at Bishop Kinney High School says he's disheartened by the stories he's reading. I would be remiss if I said that we haven't had an incident in the past um, where we've had to deal with isolated incidents, but um, the stuff that obviously when you read it and in the, and the way it's being written and in the quantity that it's being pushed, um, it definitely, um, it, it's, it's right in front of you. They're calling out specific students' names now. Um, they're calling out some of our teachers and so, um, and, it, and it's very hurtful. And we're talking about current, we're listening, and we want to listen to what, the, what their experiences are so that we can address them and make some positive changes. The board and president of the Bulls School say they have been reading posts on the Black at Bulls Instagram account and said they, quote, need to do better, to be better, and to make change. The letter said the school plans to hire more people of color and are planning workshops for faculty, staff, and students. In a statement from Episcopal School of Jacksonville, the school says it was painful to read the post shared on this account, and they're planning a series of forums to be led by awareness, inclusion, and respect committees. A fourth Instagram account, Black at SCP, shares stories of students at Stanton College Preparatory School. It's a prominent public magnet school in Duval County. We reached out to the Duval County School District later in the day when we found out about this page, and they said students need to know that they are valued. And Diana Green, their superintendent, laid out several action steps she is recommending to increase equity and inclusiveness on our campuses. She talked about that last night during the board meeting. She said these include adding personnel devoted to student support and expanding training and professional development for staff. Reporting live in Ponte Vedra Beach, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.